Our cameras on one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's Ipswich Town, and they take on Plymouth Argyle. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number eight, Lee Evans. Here's the Ipswich Town starting 11. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're going to play with the same formation out of possession, but I think we're going to see a lot of rotation from them when they do have the ball. And I expect their fullbacks to play a big part in this game. And the match is underway. Shawnee Aluko. And stuffing out the danger. Matete. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? A well, fine reading of the situation. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's very much a confidence player. And at the moment, his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. A really committed challenge. And it's gone out for a throw-in. Aluko. And it's played into the centre. Well, threat over for now. Can he find the net? And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Well, possession seeded. Joe Edwards. And he read it well, intercepting it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Cross could be useful. Well, still an issue here. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here.
here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Shawnee Aluko. Possession changing hands. With the owner of a silver hatchback with the registration GR21. J Matete. JJ. Ryan Hardy, but a shocking pass, really. Hardy. And they have possession again. Right. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Can he put it away? Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Well, he's lost the ball. Ryan Hardy. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Shawnee Aluko. And he stopped them in their tracks. Bali Mumba. Moving into the advanced position. Crossing opportunity. Oh, that's a really good run. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Evans. Shawnee Aluko. Well read to put an end to that attack. Matete and all the way through to the keeper well half time coming up shortly and the home side on top Stuart interested to get your critique well they've worked hard and played well to be in front here but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Can he get them level? What a block! Oh, he's given the ball away. Matete. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. He's got to score! And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. And intercepted it. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be.
And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And the match is underway. Cross could be useful. Well, still an issue here. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Can he put it away? Well, a nearly moment, just over the top. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. He's got to score! And inches away, didn't miss by very much at all. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Oh, fancy footwork. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Substitution time it is here. Number seven, Matt Butcher. And there's the delivery. Delightful pass. And it all counts for naught. And the big news confirmed, Manchester United have succeeded in getting their man, Stuart. Well, at a reported cost of around £110 million, this is a huge statement by the club about their ambitions. Hopefully you'll oh, show wait everybody. a minute. They could well be in. Pivotal moment defensively. Matete. Butcher. Ryan Hardy. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Armando Broya. Ah, what can they produce on the flank? Options in the middle. On the offensive, but timely defending when it mattered. A wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Butcher. Ryan Hardy. Bali Mumba. Well, nicely cut out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Matete. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Space afforded him.
were getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Substitution for Infix Town. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Sonny Aluko. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Marcus Harness. Trying to deliver it accurately, and he clears the danger. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break look. Well, the referee can't take any chances, and now he will receive attention. So following the injury, back underway again here. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. And a goal update to bring you from the Derby County match. Alex Scott has the information for us. County. The score's level again now at 1 1 with 77 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. They're following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Taken short. Surely, still work to do. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Going well. And let's give credit to the defending. Broya. Making a bit of headway. This could be it! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. An effective ball. He read the situation defensively and did his job. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. And a substitution in the offing. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. And clears his lines. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All hands on deck. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Mm -hmm. 
Joe Edwards. Ennis. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. All in all, he did plenty of good things in the game. Well, I would say he was average today, but he can't be at his best every week. He just did a good job for the team. Cross could be useful. Well, still an issue here. just over the top not to be advised giving the ball away there he's got to score and inches away didn't miss by very much at all they're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back oh marvellous goalkeeping well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper that's absolutely brilliant All hands on deck. And he finds the net. He could hardly make Time for just a few questions. Thanks very much. The cameras are fixed to one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu is live action from the Carabao Cup. It's Doncaster Rovers, and they take on Ipswich Town. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie, and maybe even a massive surprise. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks, or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. the Ipswich Town starting 11 well they're matching up here so it's a case of whether they can impose themselves on the game if they can get the ball into their front three with quality they will pose a real threat today
And they kick off here. Very good challenge. So a throw in here. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Not enough subtlety about that free kick, I'm afraid. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's very much a confidence player. At the moment, his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. Dominic Ball, Leif Davis. No nonsense clearance. First, George Miller. Effective pressure to regain possession. And they know they need to stop him. That's excellent defending following the cross. Couldn't hang on to it. Ben Close. Tom Anderson. And he did well to cut it out. Good looking ball. First. Close on the ball. Determined defending. They've given it away. Morsi. Leif Davis. Good work to regain possession. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Applying vigorous pressure. Could play it in. Simple for the keeper. What can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Counter-attacking very much an option. Well, it fizzled out.
Hurst. And he read it well. This is looking threatening. Kyle Noyle. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Good physical play. Hurst. And plenty of room in the wide area. Oh, what's he gone and done? And still danger here. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. A very effective clearance. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. It could be up for grabs. A second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And back underway, 1 0 as is. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Chance to play it in. The first half here comes to an end. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. And now they get the ball rolling. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. It could be up for grabs. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Hurst. Well, attacking possibilities. And teammates to play it to. Magnificent defending. Panuch Kamara. And a very significant piece of transfer business carried out. And this is now official. We have confirmed it. Presnel Kimpembe has completed his move to Spurs. Well, at around £50 million. Pounds. Oh, real chance. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Noyle. George Miller. And intercepts again. Row. Well, 
Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Wes Burns. And Chaplin has it. Panuch Kamara. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. And a substitution in the offing. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Ben Close. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And there to intervene. Panuch Kamara. Burns. Well, possession seeded. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, they've decided to make a change. Taylor George Miller can he do it and the keeper's hand does the trick Connor Chaplin Wes Burns Beautifully weighted ball. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Tom Anderson. Biggins. into the final 20 minutes Connor Chaplin a foul it most certainly was free kick given and a yellow card for that Stuart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge pass needs to be a bit better Ben Close John Taylor and they continue to advance and a lot of options here well that would be straightforward for any keeper He's got past his man. Opportunity. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. They need to get tighter. 
It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Massimo Luongo. Connor Chaplin. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Harrison Biggins. Broya. That's a good looking ball. Excellent defending. Ben Close. Really closing him down here. And possession lost, intercepted. Connor Chaplin. And very deftly cut out. Into the advanced position. Really good block. And the referee says corner kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Who can they pick out? Now oh, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Connor Chaplin. And that goes down as disappointing when you consider where the goalkeeper is. and the visitors move on well I thought they played well today they controlled the flow of the game they created numerous chances and they showed a lot of energy they'll be fairly happy going into the next round well we're highlighting him for a reason Stuart he's put in a really authoritative performance here yeah he'll be happy coming off the pitch he worked hard he was always involved in the game and he scored a very good goal that was an impressive performance today. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. Could be up for grabs. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Connor Chaplin. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. the doctor ordered things looking very bright for them now with this buffer Just a couple of questions for you.
Thank you so much for your time.